Alex Sanders, and you're watching Beyond the Whistle. Hey, South Georgia, I'm here at Thomas County Central with the one and only Kendarius Reddick. How are you doing? I'm Welcome doing to great. Beyond the Whistle. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma so going into this game on Friday, this is the start of your junior season. Yes, ma'am. What's kind of your mentality going into Friday? You know, this is not the last team from last year. You know, I at least expect something different from out of this. You know, not the same thing as last year, but you know it's going to be something different. One common phrase people have used on the sidelines today to describe you, and that is a goofball. <laughs> Do you think that that is a accurate description of kind of your personality? Um, nah. Damn! We got rolling. We got worms right here. <laughs> like, I talk to myself in my head and I laugh like, really? Why would you think that? Outside of football, I'm real chill, but football like brings so much joy in me. I gotta have fun. I gotta have fun. Since you are a big prospect, a lot of pressures, I would say, come with that. Has there been an added pressure, especially since you're just a junior? Most people expect me, me, like the player that I am, the energetic player, they expect me to be everywhere, mm -hmm. like sideline to sideline. I don't want too much let that get to my head. You know, mm -hmm. I still, you know, do my, play my part, play my game. You know, whatever happens, happens. After what you've observed from your team in this offseason, do you kind of expect the same outcome or the yeah. same performance? Yeah, I don't. At least? You, can, you can never assume anything. And, and it's such a different team. I mean, k has got so many seniors on defense this year. Yeah. Uh, they, they return a lot of guys there and, and obviously playing at their place. Uh, they've got a lot to, uh, to play for and prove. And, you know, we lost a lot on offense. Lost the quarterback that set a season-season record, the yeah. receiver a season-season record. So we got a lot of new faces there. So I expect it to be a tight ball game for a long time, and we just got to make sure we protect the ball and, you know, give ourselves a chance to win the second half. What is Cairo's really greatest strength, I guess, that you guys are going to have to stop or, or take out in order to, to win on Friday? Uh, speed and physical. Uh, you know, speed and physical, and, and that's not unique to this team. That's pretty much any K-Row team you could say for 100 years. Mm -hmm. uh, they've always got guys that can run, get to the ball, and uh, they always got guys that ain't scared to hit. Would you say that your family is more of a takeout family, or are you a grill master? I love cooking. So yeah. the weekends, I'm cooking. Yeah, I'm, cooking? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a griller, so I'm going to do things. Master. I'm going to smoke. Uh, I'm going to grill things. Love my, my Blackstone, uh, so I'm always uh, doing things on the Blackstone, things like that. Uh, but yeah, I, I really do enjoy All right, cooking. guys, now we're here in Cairo, home of the Start Makers, and I'm here with senior linebacker Jeremiah Williams. Welcome to Beyond the Whistle. Thank you, thank you. I know you guys just got out of practice today. Y'all are gearing up for the game on Friday against Thomas County Central. How has practice been different as opposed to off-season practice? Practice has really, you know what I'm saying, changed a little bit, um, especially coming from the weather conditions, you know what I'm saying. We usually practice from the morning times, and coming out now coming out in the afternoon when it's real hot, um, but I think the team has did a really good job adjusting to that. How does it feel going into what's going to be your last season here in k um, Then again, it, it feels good, you know, and um, just coming out, playing our rival opponent, you know what I'm saying, that's what, you know what I'm saying, to start off the season, um, getting the fans pumped up, um, my boys pumped, you know what I'm saying, but um, I feel real confident into this week. Is there like a little local place to eat or anything that you really like? Mr. Chick. You know what I'm saying? Mrs. Chick is the main restaurant in town to me, me personally. Only to because I work there. But to have to go yeah, back. go to Mrs. Chick. What's kind of like a preconceived notion or like a stereotype that you wish you could kind of flip as far as the public's eye mm. when it comes to you guys? People try to judge us behind the door. People don't really realize all the work we put uh, put in throughout the summer, mm -hmm. and there's really coming out out to daylight, you know what I'm saying, when people really see us and trying to come out and execute and play and have, play the game we love, we won't let that come, get to us. We just, you know what I'm saying, go out there and play and have fun, that's all. You guys, the game last year didn't really go in y'all's favor. Is it safe to say that y'all are entering this game with a chip on your shoulder? Well, I think the good thing about these rival games mm -hmm. that we play in South Georgia is that they help you get ready for the playoffs. Mm -hmm. The challenge is a good thing because it helps your team get better. So what are you guys going to have to put a stop to? I, I'd say to keep poise as a football team and keep composure. And the one thing that we talk about a lot is just the way we handle adversity. And you know, on Friday nights, it happens. Mm -hmm. And uh, good teams are able to handle it and uh, respond in a positive way. 
What has been your favorite experience or your favorite part of your job? I just say, well, the kids here. Mm -hmm. You know, the kids here, they do work hard. And uh, this is important to them and special to them. Well, Coach, thanks so much for being thanks with me. For me. That's it for this week's episode, guys. I'll see you next week. Be on the whistle.